Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. The other day I did a video on the new ISO that came out for Manjaro. Now the thing is, is that when a new ISO comes out for Manjaro, it's for new installs, it's not for updating the system. Anyways, I downloaded, now Manjaro comes in many different editions with many different ISOs. So I downloaded the uh, official GNOME edition and I planned when I was making the video I intended to show different things in the system and I didn't and I ended up cutting the video kind of short it was only 40 minutes I cut it down from an hour to 40 minutes and the reason why is that the display manager wasn't working and I had to drop down to a TTY now of course if you watched the video you would know this but if you didn't watch the video, I had to drop down to a TTY and edit the XNRC file and log in through Stardex. And then once I got into the desktop environment, everything was laggy and working slow. And at the end of the video, in the conclusion, I gave it a really bad recommendation. Uh, I said that you shouldn't use it, don't download it, you should go to Pure Arch, and it's very rare when I'm doing a distro review, it's very rare for me to give such a negative comment at the end of a video. Now, off camera, after I finished making the video, oh, and here's my cat, Hope. And my cat, Hope, has decided to, jo to join us. So, after I finished making the video, off camera, I thought, let's download one of the other editions and see if I have the same trouble. So, I downloaded and installed the official XFCE edition of Manjaro. And I installed it and everything worked. There was no problem. The display manager works properly. And just in case you don't know, the display manager is the login manager, but officially it's called the display manager. Why? I don't know. So the display manager worked properly and the system was running fun and the system was running properly and apps were not lagging when I tried to open the apps and everything was great. So today in this video I'm going to show you the system. Now I'm not going to go through a whole install because the install of the official XFCE version of Manjaro is exactly the same as the install of their official GNOME version. The install is the same, it took about five minutes Maybe it took a minute or two faster, only because the XFCE desktop is lighter. But the install was exactly the same, and going through the install, it gives you the option of using a swap or no swap or different types of swaps, and it gives you the option of installing no Office program, or the free Office program, or the Libre Office program. So, and before I do that, I just want to go to the website and show you which ISO I downloaded. So, let's get to it. So I'm at the Manjaro website, and what I did was I just click on this download. And I click on x8664, not the ARM one. Click it on. And these are the three official Manjaro editions. And of course, these are the community editions. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this website. So when I made the video the other day, I downloaded this GNOME version, which wasn't working properly. Then off camera, I downloaded and installed this XFCE version. And it is working properly. And that's what this video is going to be about. And all I did was hit the download button. And then you have the option of doing a minimal or a full install. I did the full install and I clicked on image. You know, I'm not going to click it on now because it's going to start downloading it. If you click on the image, it's going to download it. It's going to be about three and a half uh, gig. It takes about a minute or two to download and then you can do your install. So I'm going to close my web browser and I'm going to go to my virtual machines. And as you can see, I have a lot of virtual machines in here. <laughs> So this one that's highlighted right here, this is the one that I worked on in the last video, Manjaro GNOME, and the display manager wasn't working properly, and apps were opening up really slow and it was really laggy, and even opening up the terminal. 
it took a long time for the terminal to open up. So then off camera, like I said, I downloaded and installed this one, Manjaro XFCE Official Edition. And I'm not going to go through the install uh, today. It's already installed. I'm just going to give you a tour of it and explain some things. Uh, like I said, it's already installed, uh, but I haven't made any changes to it. So when I installed it off, when I downloaded it and installed it off camera yesterday, I, off camera, I went in and made sure everything was working, but I didn't make any changes. I didn't do anything with it. So it's going to be exactly like it is when you first log in. So let's start it up and I'm going to go through this, the boot up process because I want you to see that the login manager is working or as it's properly called the display manager. So let's click it on. Let's start it. Let's um, make it full screen and let's boot into the system. And you can see Manjaro at the bottom, it's booting up. And there we are, we're at the login screen, or should we call it the display manager? And this part wasn't working in the GNOME edition, for me anyways, I was just getting the black screen of death. So I'm gonna put my password in and I'm gonna log in. So because this is a virtual machine, the display is off. If you install this on bare metal, you won't have the problem with this resolution. Now the welcome screen comes up. It gives you a lot of information there. And I'm going to toggle this off. So the next time I boot into the system, this doesn't pop up. And I'm not going to go through this. If you're installing Manjaro, you can read this for yourself. And now I'm going to fix the resolution. So I'm going to click on the start menu. And I'm going to type in display. And this you only have to do once. And I'm going to change this to, let's scan down here. Let's go to 1360 by 768. Let's apply it. You have to apply it. And keep the configuration and close. Oh, that's a lot better. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this icon here now it's showing the system is up to date now the thing is with manjaro even though it's coming from arch linux manjaro has its own repository so when you download apps or do updates it doesn't come directly from arch linux uh, when arch linux does updates which is every day or many times a day the updates go to the manjaro repository and Manjaro holds them for about two weeks and tests them and then it releases them and then when you get the updates it's coming directly from Manjaro not from Arch Linux now if they're with Manjaro if it's a secured and important security update they buy they will bypass the two-week thing and get it to you quicker so like I said uh, this ISO is from two days ago so of course, there's not going to be any updates. There probably won't be any updates for a week or two. So I'm going to click, but I'm going to click it on because what I want to do is go into the software center. I'm going to make it full screen. And what you can see is there's lots of apps in here. And this software center is called Pamac and not to be confused with Pac-Man and Manjaro. They are the ones that created this Pamac uh, software center. And you can also use this in Pure Arch Linux. If you're in Pure Arch Linux and you want a GUI software center, you can download this and use it as well. Mm -hmm. And of course you have different apps here. You have categories, you can go into photos, music, pro productivity, games and science, utilities and so forth. And you can also do a search. Let's see, you wanna do a search for Brave. And it didn't come up. Why? Let's do Brave B. There it is. So there's the Brave browser, and you can click it on and download it. Now, before I do this, I wanted to do, I meant to do an HTOP on my fresh reboot, and I forgot. So let's go into here and let's type in HTOP. Let's click it on. Let's see what we're running at. So we're running at 738 megabytes of RAM. 
And you know what I want to do is I don't like this bleed through. So what I'm going to do is let's open up the terminal. Now XFCE comes with its own terminal, which is, I forget the name of it. It's called XFCE4 terminal. So they have their own terminal and it's the default is set with all this bleed through, which I don't like. So I'm going to go into preferences. So I just right click this on, go into preferences and I'm going to go into appearance and see this transparency. I'm just going to turn it off. Use solid color. Oh, that's better. And then I'm going to go into general and that's not in general. I just want to make the font a little bit larger. Oh, here's the font right here. So I'm going to click this on. And I'm going to click it to 16. I'm going to select it. Ah, oh, that's better. And my cat's going to lie on my lap. I'm going to push the keyboard in a bit. And there we go. Now, got rid of the bleed through. And I made the font larger. And let's close that. And let's go back to HTOP. Let's type in HTOP. Here it is here. Let's click it on. Let's make it full screen. And there we go there. So I gave this uh, virtual machine four processors, zero swap, and four gigs of RAM. And it's running at 717, which is a little bit high for XFCE. Because I know if you run XFCE in pure Arch, it runs around 500 megabytes of RAM. So in Manjaro, it's running a bit heavy but it's still a lot lighter than GNOME desktop. And let's close that. Now I wanna go back into the software center. I'm gonna click this. And another thing too, before I go there, I really like the way Manjaro themes their uh, distribution. And I like XFCE. I don't know if you watched my last video with the GNOME, uh, Manjaro GNOME. I really don't like the GNOME desktop. Besides the fact that the system wasn't functioning properly when I did my last video. Uh, I really don't like the GNOME desktop. Uh, XFCE is much more of a traditional type of desktop and it's a lot easier to use. You have your start menu here. You can go into internet programs, office programs. You have LibreOffice here, multimedia and so forth. And if you don't want to use the start menu here, you can anywhere where you're on the desktop, you can just right click your mouse and it brings up this menu. Go down to applications. And here you have, you have accessories in here, internet in here, office in here, a web browser. So I really like the XFCE desktop, even though my favorite desktop is the Cinnamon desktop and Really, I spend most of my time in the awesome window manager, and I also have Qtile window manager on another computer that I use. So even though I'm more of a window manager type of person now, and if I'm going to use a desktop environment, I prefer Cinnamon. I really do like the XFCE desktop. I think it would be my second choice for desktop, second to the Cinnamon. But it's a lot better and easier to use than GNOME. I really don't like the GNOME desktop. Anyways, that's uh, besides the point. So let's go back into the software center. And what I'm going to do is go up here to this little thing here. See this icon here with these three dots? I'm going to click it on. I'm going to go to preferences. I'm going to put my password in. I'm going to authenticate it. And I'm going to go down. And see the mirrors are set worldwide by default. I'm going to change this to Canada. So I'm changing the mirrors to just download updates and apps from Canada. And I'm going to hit refresh mirrors. Hit refresh mirrors and see this green line going along here. It's refreshing the mirrors and it's done. Let's close it. Okay. Now... What I'm going to do is I want to make sure there's a firewall installed and it's on. So here's the firewall. It's installed. Let's make sure it's on. Let's do put my password in. 
and it's by default it's off it's installed by default but it's turned off so i'm going to toggle it on and now it's on so now my firewall is turned on incoming it's going to deny all incoming and allow outgoing and i'm going to close that now what i want to do is let's go into a terminal let's make it full screen let's just make sure there's no updates to do 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 now of course you can do check the updates in here you could click this on and refresh it you could go into the uh their gui software center and click on refresh and check for updates there but i'm just going to try in here sudo pacman s y u and i'm going to put my password in And there's nothing to do, like I thought. So now I'm going to clear the screen. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to type in sudo pacman s awesome and qtile. Hit enter, hit enter, and now it's installing the awesome window manager and qtile. And that was, ooh, that was fast. One thing I do like about the uh, Manjaro repository, I think it's a little bit faster than the Arch Linux repository. And maybe that's because there's less people using it. I don't know. I'm just guessing. So I'm going to close the terminal. So I'm going to click this green button here to log out. I'm going to log out. And now I want to make sure you can see this. And you can't. Okay, so I'm going to move my face. And... Let's try that again. So I'm going to go down here and click this button right here. And that brings up this menu. So we have Qtile, Awesome, and XFCE. We have Qtile Wayland. Uh, don't click that on unless you have Wayland installed. I didn't install Wayland on my system, so I'm not going to click it. Because you might get stuck and you might have to pull the plug. So let's try uh, Qtile first. And let's type in my password. Now this is going to be default Qtile. So we're in the default uh, Qtile. We're not in my configuration file, but it comes with wallpaper. How about that? Let's hit um, mod key enter and see if my terminal opens up and it does. And let's just do htop. So now we're running at 362 megabytes of RAM. Not bad. So like this is the default Qtile. So I'm gonna quit out of there. You know what, let's just shut down. Let's just quit here. Click on this shutdown here, and it's going to shut down. So now I'm going to click on this icon right here, and I'm going to click on Awesome. And now I'm going to type my password in. And now we are logged into the Awesome Window Manager. But it's the default Awesome Window Manager. And let's do... Um, Mod key P brings up the built-in menu. I know it's small. It's hard to see, right? And let's do... Well, you know what? Let's see. Before we do that, let's see if the terminal opens up. Mod key enter. And it won't open up the terminal. So you got to do mod key P. And you got to do... Um, type in terminal. Let's type in sudo pacman s x term put my password in because by default the awesome window manager is set to work with x term now you can go into the awesome window manager configuration and change it so that it will work with the xfce terminal but i just thought it would be easier to do this so let's close it let's restart Let's just move my face down here. Now let's hit mod key enter. And the terminal opens up. And look how small that is. <laughs> wow. Let's do um, close that. Let's do htop. Oops. Here it is here. 
and now we're running at 366 megabytes of RAM. It's not bad. And what I want to do is, oops, let's close that. Now let's go into the XFCE terminal because it's nice and large and easy to read. Do git clone h https clone slash slash git lab dot com artibus one slash manch dot git. I'm downloading my uh, GitLab repository for manch. And I'm going to cd into mench, ls it, and I'm going to cd into arch, and I'm going to ls it. So I'm not going to run the auto app file. And if you haven't been in my GitLab repository for a while, the auto app file got updated and uh, somebody contributed, revised my auto app file for me. Instead of it being in paragraph, it's in column. And it's in alphabetical order and it's a lot better to read none of the apps were deleted or there was no apps that were added it was just reformatted so you're not going to run this because most of these apps are already in the system right because manjaro gives you a full desktop environment with most of the apps that you would need so we're not going to run that let's just quit out of there let's ls it again Normally when I'm doing my Arch installs, I run this app. So let's just vim into it or buy into it. Let's buy into it. So normally I run this app, but I'm not going to run this because I don't want to. <laughs> because like I said, Manjaro, for instance, let's go to the bottom. For instance, uh, my Light DM is not installed. Manjaro has its own uh, display manager. Uh, I don't think it's like DM. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, and the firewall is already set up in the GUI. So I'm not going to run that. And Bluetooth is already set up. So I'm not going to run this. But what I do is let's get out of here. I'm going to copy over this awesome folder and this cute tile folder. Okay. And before I do that, I'm going to CD out of there. I'm going to CD into dot config. And I'm going to remove recursively by force the Qtile folder that's in there. Now let's ls it and just make sure it's gone. It is. Okay, now I'm going to cd out of there. I'm going to cd into mesh. I'm going to cd into arch. I'm going to ls it. And I'm going to copy recursively. Awesome and qtile into home.config and enter let's see if it worked well you know what let's just close out of there and let's restart and there we have it we are now in my awesome configuration file and the display is fixed as well isn't that nice and uh, now let's do um an h top no let, let's go into terminal but the terminal is not fixed um you know what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the mod key and the p i'm going to type in terminal i'm going to go to this xfce terminal i'm going to move my xnrc file to xnrc i'm just changing the name to dot Save. I'm going to save that file just in case I want to go back to the default one and I'm going to cd into mench arch I'm going to ls it and what am I going to do I'm going to copy x x in it and x resources over to my home directory and I'm going to quit and I'm going to quit again and I'm going to log back into there now I'm going to open up a terminal and there we go 
Back term is fixed to the way I like it. <laughs> and let's open up an H top. And we're running at 390 megabytes of RAM. Out of my four gigs of RAM. And let's quit out of there. Now let's log, let's open up Firefox. And this is Firefox, opens up good. And of course, because it's Manjaro, they have all these bookmarks here, Manjaro bookmarks free to use and i'm not going to configure firefox in here because uh, i don't want this video to be too long and this video is not about firefox anyways so let's close that so we see firefox is working let's see if it's working in here and it is now i'm going to log out let's quit let's move my face and Let's click on this and let's go into Qtile and let's put my password in and wallpaper's gone kind of funny <laughs> uh, but we're in my Qtile configuration file let's open up uh, let's open up HTOP and we're running it again 389 megabytes of RAM not bad and of course, my X term is configured properly. Let's close that. Let's open up X term. And there's X term. Okay, let's close that. And now the wallpaper is kind of wonky here. Uh, I wonder if I can fix that. Let's go into CD. X in it. Oh, let's go into CD. Config. Q tile. Let's go into. Um, Let's ls it by config.py and let's go to wallpaper. Let's see if there's wallpaper in here. And you know what? I have it set to uh, simply black. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to another workspace. I'm going to open up this. I'm going to cd into mesh arch. LS it and I'm going to copy dark canyon to my home directory and it's not canyon it's dark cyan dark cyan okay now let's get out of there just got to remember it's dark cyan with capital D and C okay now I'm going to go back to here workspace one delete this Dark Diane. And I'm going to save the file. I'm going to quit. And I'm going to restart. And there we are. I changed the wallpaper. And I fixed it so it's formatted properly. Let's get out of here. I'm going to quit. And I'm going to click on the XFCE session. I'm going to put my password back in. And we're going to go back into the XFCE default configuration file. There we are. So we're back in the XFCE. And I'm just going to bring my face down and my cat down a bit. There we go. This is Hope. I have two cats. The other cat never comes up here when I'm recording, but this cat likes to come up and help me record. And she's a star. So we're back in the XFCE desktop. Let's do an HTOP now. And now we're running at 750 megabytes of RAM like we were before when we were in the desktop environment earlier on in the video. And let's close that. And I'm just going to do a really quick tour here. So I think I already did this, but we have, we have Firefox, Thunderbird, Multimedia, you have VLC, which is not one of my favorite. Well, I don't like VLC, but uh, I'll leave it in. Uh, in Office, we have LibreOffice because I installed it during the uh, installation of the distribution. Uh, we have Favorites. 
I could right click here and you can also go into multimedia and internet and so forth. And of course, in this video, I didn't install Zesh. Now, uh, so the GNOME version of Manjaro, they have Zesh as the default shell and it's themed really nice. In this XFCE version of Manjaro, Bash is the default shell. Now in this video, I didn't install Zesh and my Zesh configuration file. That's easy to do. And if you want to install Zesh and my Zesh configuration file, you would do it the same way you would do in my Arch Linux videos, my pure Arch Linux videos. It'd be exactly the same way. sudo pacman s zesh and copy over my zesh configuration file. It'd be exactly the same way as it is in my uh, Arch Linux videos. And I'm going to try to keep this video a bit short. I don't want it to be too long. So I'm not going to go into any more changes. This is Manjaro XFCE official so that was the official manjaro xfce distribution installed from the brand new iso that just came out uh i think it was two days ago and this video went a lot better than my manjaro gnome video and as you can see the display manager or the login manager works and the whole distribution is a lot lighter, faster, and snappier. And there was no lag. All the apps open quickly and easily. Uh, I reset the mirrors to the Canadian mirrors. I got rid of the bleed through in the terminal. I installed Xterm. I installed the Awesome Window Manager, the Qtile Window Manager, and my configuration files for those. And I also installed my configuration file for Xterm. Anyways, I highly recommend that if you decide you want to use Manjaro, I highly recommend you use the, their official XFCE version rather than the GNOME version. Because for me, the GNOME version wasn't working, the display manager didn't work, and the system was really laggy and slow. So if you want to use Manjaro, download and install the XFCE version. Because it works. It's light, it's fast, it's snappy, and the login manager works, or the display manager. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Linux Mensch.